Um, not to my not to my knowledge. I mean, um, if that was the case, then I haven't, you know, my company, the companies that I work for haven't reported, you know, anything back to me because, you know, sometimes companies themselves know how good of a, like a, of an employee a person is and they won't even bother because they know. And then um, the companies that I work for, they have known that I have a social media following. And that's a thing now. That is a thing that random people will call in on you and try to get you in trouble and stuff like that. So um, I've heard that becoming a bigger issue as well. You know what I mean? Nowadays in the trucking industry. I don't know about other industries, but I know that that is a thing for a lot of the truckers that are social media influencers. Like, people get a hold of their information from the videos that they create, and then, yeah, they'll call in on them and stuff like that in hopes of getting them in trouble, like getting them fired and things like that. So, um, for sure, like, when it comes to social media, they need to know the um, company's policy first when it comes to social media. Um, I think it's a good idea to let the company know that the, they are social media influencers. So if they do get calls like that, the um, the company won't raise the eyebrow about it because they know they know how social media is and how things uh, spread like wildfire. Um, you know, if they can be transparent, that's a good idea. But it's like it's such a small world. You don't even have to put your information on online like people will see you out in public like I, people come up to me quite a bit at the truck stops because they know me from social media and stuff like that so it's like pretty much hard to be transparent because once somebody see what company you work for it just spreads like wildfire and you know people are more often you know they'll more often find out who you work for or where you work and things like that so I definitely think you know people who do social media read the company's policy when it comes to social media and like make sure that you're not doing what you're not supposed to be doing in the videos therefore you can't get in trouble with the company or get fired if you're doing what you're you know you're not doing things that are against the company's policy. My thoughts about that is, like, that's real sad. You know, the, the transportation industry is looking real crazy and dry right now. And for somebody to take the time out of their day to call and do a complaint or a report, I feel like that person ain't got no life and don't understand the levels of karma. Karma's going to come. It might not come in the same form. And guess what? It might not even come to you. It could be passed over to your, your significant other or even down to your kids. So when you're trying to throw salt on somebody, you know what I'm saying, situation with their, how they make their bread, then of course, the tables will turn. Don't ever try to pull a seat under somebody that's getting ready to sit down. Because in the long run, you're going to make an ass of yourself. But as far as for me, speaking of myself, I have never experienced that, nor will I personally ever do that to someone. I think this social media shit done got beyond out of control. And you know, you got a lot of social media bullies. They, people act like they bought that life and all that crazy shit. But when it comes to back in the day, when you face to face, everything changes. I don't have time for that. And whoever did that, that's real sad. That's up to the individual. You ain't got shit to lose and let that shit out. If not, then... If you want to be real respectable and reserved and you don't want your shit out there like that, then keep it moving. I'm not me, I just call it on my student because he was driving out. Because remember, I showed you that, that those little uh, dolls I had on my truck for Halloween. Did you see them? I sent you a video. So anyways, we're in, yeah, we were in Colorado and uh, and I guess, like, I don't know, he was in the left lane too long when he got out. Like, they were flipping out or whatever. And then uh, they called saying that we had statues on their on the truck and they were going to freaking fall off and hit their cars and break break their cars and stuff like that. Some crazy shit. 
wasn't they, they're made out of foam like you can't yeah they, they, so they, they made us a story saying that was i have statues on my truck and and it was gonna fall off and hit somebody's car and i'm lucky that that it hasn't fell off yet and i'm retarded basically so my company called me up saying hey you got statues on your car and the truck i said no are you retarded <laughs> <laughs> so I got I got decorations for Halloween, you know, that I had on there for like five months, but people liked it so much I left it on there because people cheer and wave and whatever. It was cool, you know, it's funny. It was like little baby zombies. I sent you videos so you can see it. But um Yeah, they didn't like that. It's just like they were just trying to mess with the driver. It wasn't really a problem with the statue. They were just trying to find a way to, to mess with the person, you know what I mean? So you gotta watch what you put on, on T V. Like if you're gonna be a YouTuber definitely gotta watch because my company does it too they'll watch you they said if you have like a youtube channel they like that but if you do something stupid on your youtube channel it's gonna go against you i would try to avoid that as much as possible i would that's just me you know i don't even like people knowing my real name <laughs> you know what i mean so <laughs> i'm just saying the, the less that they know i it's harder for you to get in trouble, you know what I mean? So, Your livelihood. If you're sitting there saying, yo, you know, I work, I work for night transportation, and you're on the video, your camera's everywhere, you're looking at the camera all the time, instead of looking looking straight ahead or whatever like that, they're going to, it's going to come back on you, you know? So, be very careful. <laughs> I basically let somebody go, and the man immediately called my company. And within 15 minutes, they sent me a, a text message telling me, thank you for being nice. The gentleman you just let out called in and said that you were courteous to him, and he appreciated that because most truck drivers bully most four-wheelers. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I would say, should they? Absolutely. If they, you know, because they don't just represent themselves. They represent who they drive for. So, if they just want a following as an influencer, why are they, you know, representing trucking? Just represent themselves. If you're representing trucking and you drive for a company, you should be transparent with that, yes. But that's out of your control. You can't control that. You can't control what people do. You can't control haters. You can't control none of that. So that's really not a discussion. You cannot control people who are petty, people who hate on you. You either stay 10 toes down and keep moving forward or not. You can't control that. That's You can't control that. How can you control that? Yeah, I had another driver do it. Um, that's about it. I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else is sitting behind the screen of a computer and just miserable and just looking what, for some type of cloud what by in that? my company. But I know another another driver. Is I I really I really I really do not know. Um, the last video that I made about the uh, blind spots on the side of the truck and all of that. Um, I, the only thing that was brought to me from safety was that I had my uniform on and that's about it. They were just complaining about that. that that's all I know. Hey, cutie. You had a, you, you had a coworker, another driver from your company to, to call in on you. Did, did, did they, of, of course, I'm, I'm assuming they kept it anonymous, but did, have you ever found out who it was? No, never, never. Hmm. I, I, I'll just say this. I never cared to find out who it was. I'm just not bothered with someone, like I said, just miserable with their life that they just have to make their life hell. I never, under I don't understand that with grown people, but hey, this is the world we live in. Personally, I feel as if people should mind the business that pays them. Um, going after someone's livelihood, trying to mess up their livelihood because they're having a few minutes of fun online or whatever the case may be. I just, again, I think you're a miserable person and to, to really take time out of your day to go out of the way to make or to let your voice be heard 
because you don't simply agree with the content that someone posts and you actually take it a step further and go to their company, you know, their their place to make money, you know, how they survive their livelihood. I think that's just really low. I think that's extremely low for anybody. Um, yeah, but you know, that's not a one-sided deal. That's, that's definitely a, a double-sided uh, industry. Companies as well, transparent. So, I mean, yeah, I just feel like everybody should be transparent all around the board. Never, never have had a problem. Um, you know, I don't have any haters that I know of out there. <laughs> I try to be good to everybody so that kind of malicious behavior doesn't happen. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, those are the people that do that kind of stupid stuff. Those are the people that make those phone calls. And my thoughts is that it's that's an evil person, and they obviously have confidence issues that they and they have nothing better to do with their time. So, to me, that's really petty and uh, unprofessional, especially if they're another trucker. You know, that's the last thing you should be trying to worry about doing to somebody, or you know, um, it's horrible because that's that's taking it to a personal level. You know. Well, it, it based on being petty. You know, all I can say, just being petty, or or just probably saw a driver doing something. Taking case of the driver that bought the beer, and someone called on him. Well, it's gonna bite them back if it, if they happen to find out who they are in the social media. I mean, it's gonna bite them back if they go ahead and do it. <laughs> Yes, I have. Um, well, the, um, they call, um, what is it? The driver manager gave me a call and was telling me that uh, someone had called in and said that I was speeding in a school zone. That I was going 45 in a 20 mile per hour zone. And um, they immediately called me. It was probably about like five, 10 minutes after I had went through the school zone. And um, I put my case, I was like, uh, no, I, I do the speed limit. I mean, the, the truck is tracked and you should be able to see my speed. Like if I was speeding in the speed zone, you know, you should be able to see it. And um, they were like, well, if you can pull over until we uh, figure this out before you can start, you know, continue driving. So I was like, okay. So I found the nearest place that I could pull over probably about 10 minutes down the road, pulled over, shut the truck off. And um, they told me that I can't move the truck until they figure out what was going on. So probably about a couple hours later, they told me it was, I was good to drive, that, you know, they checked my, um, my log and found out that I, I, wasn't, um, I wasn't speeding in this uh, school zone. Now, I know the call might have been anonymous, but was you able to find out who made that call? No, I, I really didn't even look into it because I didn't see the point in it. Like, they did they due diligence. I mean, I feel like the company did their due diligence. They looked, they figured out that, hey, she wasn't, she wasn't speeding per her log, you know? I mean, there's, I'm, I, I just don't see a point in asking who did who. You know, there's it's, it's no real point in, now if it would have cost me my job, yeah, I'm going to look into it. But it didn't really affect me much. What's your thoughts about that? for people just calling messing with your money oh that's slander i'm going i would love to figure out who that would be because um my pockets is empty so let, let's take this to court you're not going to slander me and cost me my job or because you do not like me or because you feel some type of ill will directed to, towards me that's when you take it to court but in a general sense, if they don't fuck with my money, I don't really care what anyone has to say about me because people are like assholes. They can say whatever they want to. It's, as long as they don't mess with my money, it really don't matter to me. But it's saying if you're like on a public platform and someone does something like that to you and, you know, it, it, it costs you your job, then uh, it, it's one of those damned if you do damned if you don't type situations because it's like well it's just a public platform you know but can it will that cause you to not get another job somewhere else no 
You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. It, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, yes and no. I, I, it's one of those, like I say, it's a darned if you do, darned if you don't type situations because, yeah, everybody wants to know about the company that you're working for. But there's a, there's a thin line between slander and your personal opinion. Like your personal opinion could be, oh, I don't care for this company because, uh, let's just say, because of the, I, they can't get me home, which is like a normal thing. But that shouldn't devalue what the company has done for you or the benefits that they may have. Or some people might not really care too much. Or it, it, it's just like, what, what's, the, what's the line between both of those? You know? Like, you got to figure that out. You can't just be like, oh, this company, this, that. And then get upset because they're going to let you go because you said something and it's going to prevent them from business. Because if I was a business owner and I wouldn't want anyone talking and hindering me from making money from myself and my family and the other employees that I have, you know, working for me that I'm responsible for taking care of their salary. But I would want, on the opposite hand, I would want to know about a company if it is going to be an issue for me as well. You know, if I'm wanting to go there and I don't really know. So it's like, I would want to know what the company is all about as well. But there's too many people with different mental health issues and different living issues and lifestyles and things of that nature that can make a good company be bad in their eyes because they already came in there with a bad um, connotation already before they even get get in there but they want to talk about everything that's wrong and i see a lot of videos of that well this company did, did this and you're just sitting there like girl that it's it's, 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 your, it's part of your job you know or they turned my fuel card off with fuel card off because they probably had an issue with people stealing fuel so it's like it's just I don't know. With with me, it's like it's a yeah, it's okay, but it it, it don't really matter to me. It it I mean, you know, it's not one of those things, you know. Take a shot for all